are things looking? You know, not everybody got to build a snowman or break out the snow shovels just yet. Here we are with those chances for thunder snow. You know, you can actually get lightning in the middle of sleet or snowfall. Getting in some of that warm air with this otherwise winter system that's coming our way from the northwest. So this is where in our area, Monday night into Tuesday, we could very well be seeing some problems here with some bits of snowfall. So we'll talk more about that coming up, exactly what to expect and how long that cold air is going to stick around here. Is it going to warm up anytime soon, Amy? We have a while before we get back to average temperatures. De-ice things if you need to. It's that time to at least have it in the vehicle now as this season is making its appearance. And so, you know, tires, it's good to check them. Make sure you have enough air because as we lose 10 degrees in temperature, you're also losing a pound per pressure square inch there. 0.3 inches of rain collected in Yankton in the last few hours. So that's great news because they just kept getting the short end of the stick there. So we're gonna do our trick or treating. I hope you all have fun, rain or shine, make your Halloween divine, get our weather app for the full details. See you later, great seeing you, Sophia. Amy, thank you so much for bringing in those kiddos that made my day. The big story here is gonna be that huge trough there, the big low pressure system passing the Rockies. We can start to see evidence of why there's so much moisture out there to the west because we have two upper level jets coming together. When that happens, it kind of pushes the air together, squeezing it together, helps to squeeze out some of the water droplets. Welcome back. We have some snowfall out there. Very, very light snowfall. You'll see this just pop up in the last hour between West Point and Hornick. So Bancroft, you have a better chance to be getting some of this very light snow. This is not a lot not really any kind of accumulation going on but just a little bit going on now for the next couple of hours this will be moving toward iowa more and allowing a little bit more to possibly fall in spencer where it did earlier on now esterville sioux center just caught a little bit of snowfall but big picture the bulk of that is off toward the southwest and we're getting just very very small totals here with a little clearing coming up later on in the day so while we have quite a bit of cloud cover out there now with these cold temperatures only one of those things is going to last through the day so the cold air is here to stay it is mid-20s for the most part across sioux land right now and then not warming up much about 10 degrees maximum today from what we're seeing there right now mid 30s for our highs with that light snow ending around the afternoon time and then clouds slowly clearing out of the area so over the next couple of days it's not just today that we could be seeing that little snowfall is continuing across I-29 and into Iowa, very light, but then again, also on Tuesday. So this kind of gets out of here really around noon, two, three o'clock for the easternmost areas, but then some more on Tuesday night into Wednesday is what we're looking for. Again, most of that falling in Iowa and then allowing some of that to creep off toward I-29 once again onto the early hours of Wednesday. So the next couple of days here, we could be getting a little bit of accumulation there until we hit Thursday and let some of that melt away. If anything does accumulate into Iowa, that would be about one or two inches for those easternmost portions, but the temperatures, that's what we'll all notice. Highs in the 30s and 20s this week ahead.